Alright, hi guys, this is Wagon Wheel here, and I'm going to go over my TVP with you, okay? So, a basic uh, overlay of this build I do is just a 1 racks FE into 5 racks pressure, and then I go up to my starport tech. A lot of people have been talking about the bomber build, which uh, I don't like as much. I, I, I used to do it, but the thing is, by the time I got to his base, they already had a lot of stuff over me. So I like to do this earlier timing attack. So, Constantly build SCVs like you always would, and send your scout out and scout for anything. Scouting is important with this. You want to find out if they're all inning you, uh, trying to go um, for the late game macro, or trying to do anything cheesy or anything funny. All right. So build your, build your all your stuff at the wall. I would like to build my supply depot at the wall, and scout after the supply depot is finished. So. Always build SCVs. We don't get we don't get gas with this f fast expand. We get gas after we get our third barracks, and we only get one gas. Okay. So the reason for that is you get a lot more mineral income, and minerals are really good against Protoss, like really good. So I'm gonna build my barracks at the wall too, uh, just to keep it to keep it safe from any, uh, just to keep my base safe from any early pressure. I'm gonna build an SCV, and you want to scout out properly. Now my scouting this game was a bit off. It was a bit off, but it was sufficient, I suppose. So I want to finish off this wall to deny him any scouting, but I screwed that up, so I cancelled and started again. <laughs> so this probe is being very annoying to me right now, and it should be. It's doing its job. I had to pull two SCVs off to deal with it, so good job for the Protoss. He screwed me up a bit, and I lost track of my scouting. So, he also got a pile on my base. I had to deal with that quickly, so I'd, I'd like to get this SCV off. You only want one SCV chasing the probe, just so he doesn't do anything more, and you want the rest to take care of this. I think I might have overreacted to this, considering how I saw the gateway and how it wasn't a forge, but you can always, you can always be safe, alright? So, my general plan this game is to go for an 18cc without any gas. Okay, so I, you want to get that good economic advantage over your Protoss early, and you want to hit them with a nice timing, a two-base timing attack. So when you're scouting, uh, the main things you want to look out for are an expansion, their gases, and any kind of tech. If you really want to get good. Start looking for a pylon placement to see where they can hide tech and see everything they should get. And you want to scout as much as possible up until their stalker comes out. Their stalker comes out uh, usually around 4 minutes and 20 seconds, I'd say, if they don't go the zealot first. This guy went the zealot first, so the stalker's going to come out a little bit later. So I get that CC up, and you want to get a bunker up immediately after. Uh, stalker zealot pressure is very common. And you just want to get that bunker up as fast as possible. So after your bunker, you want to get two racks up as soon as possible. So my first racks went up, and now my second rack should be going up soon. There it is. So after your, sec after your second additional racks, you're going to have three racks total, and you want to build your gas. So my gas should be coming up soon. Uh-oh. This is not good. <laughs> oh, I'm just dealing with something over there. All right. There's our gas. Awesome. So then, now you're pretty much safe from any shenanigans. So I'm just going to get on in this bunker and then we're all good. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to get supply blocked, but you want to use your command center basically as a big supply depot. Don't get too caught up with not getting supply blocked if your command center will save you. Right there, I wasn't supply blocked for a second, but it came close. So make sure your CC is on time, and you shouldn't get supply blocked, and you need a supply depot at 38. Okay. So, oh, whoops. So now you have your three racks going. You want to get a tech lob on as soon as possible, and you're going to go for a fast stim. You, you want to only produce marines up until you have enough gas for everything. So my stim should be coming as soon as I have 100 gas. I noticed that the Protoss expanded. Alright, so I found his expansion, and so now I know that there's not much early pressure. If there wasn't an expansion, I would have to put up a, a second, or maybe even third barracks, here or here. Alright, you always want to stay safe. The one base all-ins are really what get me against Protoss. I like to play the macro style, and then the all-ins just kind of screw.
screw me over. So after you get that stim going right here, you want to get that that second geyser up. And in the bomber build, what you what you usually go for now is you want to go for a quick factory. But what I do is I go four and five racks. All right, so I'm getting my fourth racks up now, and I also want to get my ghost academy. So my ghost academy is going down now. So the reason for, I want to get my ghost academy for is, well, there's one thing that screws up MMM or just Marines and Marauders really, really easily in the early game. Sentries, force fields screw them up so much. So there's two ways that I like to look at it for dealing with this. Um, there's medevacs, so you can pick up pick up your units after you after they force field you. Or there's ghosts, which can prevent the force fields from going down entirely. So I like the ghosts because it gives you a, a an earlier timing window, especially when you want to be as early game oriented as possible with, against Protoss, because they destroy you late game as Terran, and it's very annoying. And it's very annoying. It's very annoying. So make sure you don't get supply blocked, keep building stuff, and get those two ghosts out. I like to get two, you can get one. I like two because in case you miss, in case they split. If they actually split, that's a problem, so you want to get two. Stim should almost be done. And then as soon as you get two ghosts in stim, you want to push out. Make sure you're always building SCVs. Make sure you're always building units. Macro hard. You have to macro hard. So... I go for my third early because you want that economic advantage over the Protoss. And I'm going to push out as I get my third. So I notice he's pushing out. So I see that I have the better army right now, so I'm going to keep pushing. It might have been a little bit better to back off, but I think I had the, I thought I had the advantage there. And I think I did right now even. So I'm going to continue pushing. And I notice his pylon here, so I'm going to get these units to attack that pylon. He's using the bushes, which is good for him because I can't see past them, so he got a few cheap shots on me. But what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to...